Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. <laughs> hey there! Attack! <laughs> hey there! Chow. Dodge this! <laughs> Incoming! With sword comes shadow! Destroy the tumor of the withering. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Yes. Thanks to you two, we were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does the feeling you're worried about something. It's that obvious, huh? <sighs> All right. It's like this. Recently, the rate at which withering zones appear has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. Oh, oh by the way, have you heard of Ermansoul before? Ermansoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansoul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermansoul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it, it is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermansoul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devada's familiars a long time ago, but even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermansoul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time, until a cure is found. 
All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Kandarvaville. <laughs>